Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today's lesson is filling and wrapping 1.3, part 2. Now, you might be saying, Mr. Briggs, why are we still talking about surface area? Why are we still doing this? Well, that's because this is a really important skill, probably a really big key skill for life in general. At some point, you're going to need to know square footage or square inches, and you're going to need to paint something or wrap something or buy flooring for something, and this is going to save you a whole lot of money. Okay, when you become rich, successful people later in life and you want to know how big your mansion is, you're going to need to understand square inches. Okay, so the goal today is I can use the surface area formula. We're going to learn formulas today. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Okay, first off, we know already if we have a box that to figure out its surface area, first, we would have to find the area of the front and the back, right? So I would have to measure the front and how tall it is. I would have to measure how wide it is or how long it is. I would have to then get that number, right? Times it by two because there's a front and a back. Then, right, I would need to find the area of the sides, right? Of the right side and the left side. Okay, I would need to measure how tall it is how wide it is, and then I'd have to multiply that by 2. And then I would have to take the top, right? Measure how long this is and how wide it is, how long and how wide, and I would need to take that number and multiply it by 2, and then I would need to add all these numbers together and get my square units, right? Who has time for that? Nobody has time for that. That's just too much. That's too many steps. There has to be a simpler way. Now, you learned in the last lesson that the front is just the height times the length. That the width, that the side here is just the width times the height. And that the top is just the length times the height. All we do is multiply all three of these dimensions against each other. Well, we use that to make our formula. And you already should have a copy of this. It's a little half sheet of paper that if you kind of guess what we're going to do with it, have already glued this into your math notebook to use. This is going to be one of the best, awesomest formulas you're going to use for this unit. If you write this down, if you follow along, if you know how to use it, you will ace at least half of this unit. Okay? So here's how it works. We have the surface area of a box is equal to the width times the length plus the height times the length plus the height times the width times 2. Well, why is that? Okay, let's first talk about why that works. Well, if this is the width and this is the length, well, the width times the length, that is the top of our shape, okay? And let's say we have the length, right, times the height. Well, the length times the height is the side of our shape. And let's say I have the height times the width. That would be the front of the shape. And why do we multiply it by 2? Well, because with the top, there's also a bottom. With the right side, there's also a left side. And with the front, there's always going to be a back. So there's two sets of each of these things, right? Which is why we've got to multiply it by 2. And if this is a box, and a good box, it's going to match all of that. Okay, let's actually use this formula now, okay? I wrote all over it. Hopefully you didn't. Hopefully yours doesn't look like a mess. The first thing I'm going to do is kind of label these. Let's say this right here is my width, this is my length, and this is my height. You're going to want to label this, okay? Then we need to just put things into our formula. Well, what is the width? What is the length? The width is 3 inches. The length is 5 inches. Okay, 
what is the height times the length? Well, the height is 8 inches. The length is 5 inches. What is the height times the width? Well, it's going to be 8 inches times 3 inches. And then we just solve these. But remember, order of operations. We have to do the multiplication first. 3 times 5 is 15. Okay. 8 plus 8 times 5 is 40. And 8 times 3 is 24. Now, this is the next step that's a little goofy. We've got to just add all this stuff. Well, I know that 15 plus 40 is going to give me 55, and 55 plus 24, let me check that real quick, 55 plus 24 gives me 79. I just have to do 79 now times 2. And this is one of those times when a calculator is going to be handy, but because of order of operations, you're going to want to kind of take some notes. 79 times 2, well, 9 times 2 gives me 18. 7 times 2 is 14 plus 15. I get a surface area of 158 inches squared. And I want to make a little note here. It is squared because this is a 2D shape. Okay? All we did was take all of the sides and basically make them into a formula. Okay? This seems a little complicated, but it works, and it works every time, provided you follow the steps in the right order. Okay? Pause this if you need to so you can get it down and get it down right. Okay, let's take a look at our classwork. The first problem in our classwork, we have this particular shape here that is 3 high. So let's label this guy the H. It is 2 long, so let's label this guy long, and it is 4 wide. Okay, so let's put some stuff in. Well, what's the width? The width is 4, the length is 2. The height is 3, the length is 2. Okay. The height is 3, the width is 4. Now we need to multiply. 4 times 2 gives me 8. 3 times 2 gives me 6. 3 times 4 gives me 12. And now we just do 8 plus 6 plus 12. Well, 8 and 12 makes me 20, and 20 plus 6 gives me... 26. But remember, that's only half of the shape. I still got to multiply it by 2. And when I multiply it by 2, 26 times 2, use the calculator, please. Somebody raise their hand. What do we get? Call on them on call on them real Mr. Briggs. We get 54 inches squared. Okay, we're going to assume this is in inches, okay? All right, now let's do the next one. The next one here is a cube, and this cube is three wide and three long. Let's go ahead and label this, though. Let's say uh, long. Let's label this height. Let's label this width. Well, it is three wide. It is three long. It is also three high. It is also three long. It is also 3 high, and it is also 3 wide. 3 times 3 gives me 9. 3 times 3 uh, gives me 9. And 3 times 3 is uh, going to give me a 9. And 9 plus 9 plus 9. Okay, what do we get with that? All right, we got 27. Now, Okay, now 27 times 2. Uh, use a calculator if you got them, ladies and gentlemen. What's 27 times 2? We get 54 inches. How should I label that? 
squared. Okay, a lot easier than figuring out all those sides and adding them all up, right? We still do that, we just do it using order of operations and what we know about these dimensions. Okay, with the next ones, ladies and gentlemen, we ask you to try to follow the formula a little bit. Well, what's that formula again? Well, the formula, okay, the surface acre area equals what? Well, I know this is going to have to be how wide it is. This is going to be have to be how long it is. This is going to have to be how high it is. And how long it is. And how high it is. And how wide it is. And I probably want to measure and say, well, this is too wide. This is too high. And this is 8 long just to keep everything organized. This is one of those times when labeling helps a lot. Well, how wide? Well, width times length is our very first one. Well, it is too wide. It is eight long. How high is this guy? He is too high. He is eight long. How about that? And he is how high and how wide? He is too high and too wide. All right, now let's simplify that. Well, 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 8 is 16. And 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, what do we get when we add those up, ladies and gentlemen? Please use a calculator if you've got one. Well, 16 and 16 gives me 32. And 32 plus 4 gives me 36. Okay, I get 36. Well, what, what step am I forgetting, though? I still have to multiply it by 2. That's only half of my shape. So 36 times 2 gives me 72 inches squared. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, not too shabby. Now, for this very last one, this very last one, is sort of your little mini test so that Mr. Briggs knows that you know what the heck you're doing. Okay? What you need to do is label this shape, copy down the formula, show all your work, and give the answer. And the answer needs to be the surface area and what it equals. Now, do we want this? the answer or do I want the math? I am gonna want the math, okay? Make sure you do this one on your own, okay? Ask your neighbors if you need some help. Then flip this over and practice a few of these problems on your own, okay? Have fun, ladies and gentlemen.